And now, ladies and gentlemen, a sweet but aggressive moment. It's time for the women's super flyweight division under 62 kilogram. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first from Morocco. Please make some noise for Esma. is opening into the red corner. She's coming from Ukraine. Make some noise for Ruslana Vinyaska. Her opponent from the Ukraine, Ruslana Vinyaska. It's funny, I, I feel like it's deja vu for me right now because last week, exactly one week ago, I was in Slovakia and so was Ruslana Vinatskia, and she went three rounds and lost a unanimous decision to Andrea Totova in Slovakia. It was a very hard fight for her. She's had one week to recover from that matchup and prepare herself for Esma Hasas. Let's see what she's made of here tonight. And now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the blue corner, weighing 51 kilograms, height 1.70 meters, having a personal record of 11 fights, 8 wins, and 3 losses. She's fighting for Morocco! Make some noise for Esma Hassan! And now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the red corner. Weighing 52 kilogram, height 1.70 meters, having a personal record of five fights, four wins, and one loss. She's fighting for Ukraine. Make some noise for Ruslana Vinyaskla. This is a woman super fight under 52 kilogram, three minute round, extra one round, K1 rules. Referee in the ring, Suhan Yulia. Round one. Women's strawweight action here at the FIA World Grand Prix. Esma Hassas and Ruslana Vinyavska. Hassas getting right to work here. Vinyavska not backing down, holding her ground in center ring. Vinyavska has a strong Muay Thai background. Hassas trains at Emmer's gym, whoa. Just forcing her right to the ground there. 
But Hassas, from what it is, she doesn't really have that killer instinct Dutch style kickboxing and go, 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 go kind of uh, style. She, she can be very technical when she wants to. Look at those low kicks, wow. Oh, you're gonna make me eat my words here tonight. She's looking a lot more aggressive than I've seen her in the past. And I guess when she wants to, she can really turn it up. Here she comes now. Punches and bunches as she loses her balance there. You can already see the results of her low kicks. Tattooed on the outside of the left leg, the upper portion of the thigh of the Ukrainian. Look at the grit and determination on the face of Vinyavska. Hossos had her up against the ropes there. She looked very uncomfortable there, up against the ropes. Did Vinyavska, that's one thing that I've seen her in the, her fight last week and the fight today is that when she gets overwhelmed with offense, she feels very uncomfortable. It's like she doesn't know what to do. She kind of holds on to the ropes and she kind of hangs out and takes a lot of shots that are kind of unnecessary. And Hassas went down there kind of awkwardly. Look at the leg of Vinyovska. Wow. Hassas just tattooing her with those low kicks on that left thigh. Those things are going to be there for weeks. Striking back with the low kick now is the Ukrainian. <coughs> Hassas and Kantir both in action here tonight at the FIO World Grand Prix, but not yet matched up with that title rematch that everybody wants to see. Gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Might have to wait till Christmas time to get it. Ooh, right hand found the mark in there. Again, she feels uncomfortable. She's in the corner now, fighting back though. End of round one. Round two. Vinyaska coming forward. Looking for that clinch. Listen, my friend. No one just No Fight. Suhan laying down the law here. Cracking low kick again, right in that same spot by Hassas. As I mentioned, I don't think that Hassas has fought since the last time she was here in Moldova. So she's had quite a bit of time to reassess things, get back in the gym, train, work on some things. Whereas Vinyavska just fought last Saturday and went, uh, a, it was a grueling kind of a three round fight. So that's what these girls are looking at coming in here. Got one round down, two to go. One minute gone by so far. Well, and if you thought that Vinyovska was just gonna lay down and die here in this fight, you can forget about that. Gotta respect her for, you know, filling in for an opponent like Pierde Kirat, who was originally scheduled to fight. Haas Haas and down she goes! 
Hassas has hit the canvas several times here. She seems to have a little bit off balance at times. Hard body kicks, very hard body kicks. A number of them going in here from the Ukrainian. Hassas blinking her eyes now. Looks a little bit unsure of herself in the ring here as the Ukrainian closing in. Popped her with a left hand though. Hassas fights out of the Netherlands. I believe she was actually born there, but represents Morocco. Well, Hassa seems like she's slowing down here. I think she caught a number of good body kicks in this round. And some very powerful shots. There's a cracking low kick there in return. It was early on Hassa landing the telling low kicks. And now Vinyavska takes her turn. Goes down to the body as well. That's what's been working. She's been attacking the midsection of the fight queen. Oh, and just popped her with a right hand. Vinny Oska really has a mean streak. I'll tell you what, when it gets down to it, she really hunkers down and fights. Clubbing overhand right that time. Closing seconds now of round two. And down goes Vinny Oska a little bit awkwardly. End of round two. Doran Damir looks on. You can see the wheels and the gears turning in his mind. What is he thinking here? Certainly he has the future plans of both of these ladies, especially Hassas in the front of his mind. We're gonna have to see how this one plays out first. Third and final round coming up here as we go back for another quick look at what happened in round number two. Vinyavska really came alive there in round number two, punishing Haas Haas with some body kicks, taking her down to the canvas at one point pretty hard. Oh, she slipped hard there. She slipped and fell hard. The canvas can be slick. It is a kind of a plastic or a slippery kind Third of Third and final material. round. Material, here we go. Right to action with these two. Well, she slipped again there. That is a slick corner over there. Man, these two are really giving it to each other. Good, powerful kick by Hashas, who caught the leg and moved forward with it. Three is another stern warning there. Popped her with the left. Look at this action. Got turned around backwards there momentarily. And here comes Vinyavska. Hashas, nice movement there. Stepped out of harm's way. Oh, wow, did she eat a right hand right in the nose. There's another one, a left hand that time. Asas always has very good movement in the ring. She, that's a big ring they're working in, and she's using every inch of it. Spinning back fist that time. Not a clean shot, but it did land. Maybe in the shoulder area. Well, Vinny Asuka just for a moment there, just looked like she was really in a lot of pain, still moving forward though. She is gutsy, I'll tell you what. Vinyavska is very, very gutsy. And perhaps nobody's more gutsy than Hassas to be able to come back from that nearly career-ending car accident she was in. Had a lot of different rehabilitations and surgeries to get herself back in fight shape. But she did it. Nice left hand there, and then moves out of the way. She gets in, lands that left, and then moves out. Look at that. Avoids the counter striking from the Ukrainian. 
This is what she was doing so well in that fight against Cantor. Using the ring, moving around, sticking and moving. Getting in, doing her damage, getting out. It's the art of hitting and not being hit. 30 seconds remaining now. Well, with no knockdowns now, we're gonna have to rely on other scoring criteria for this one. Couple of shots landing there, crowd responding. Closing seconds here. Haas has really wound up with that right hand. End of the fight. So, Luzlana Vinyavska steps up to the plate and fills in for the injured Firde Kirat at a very short notice after having a fight last week in Slovakia. And I'll tell you what, she gave one hell of a fight to Hasas. The corner, very proud of her. You can see there. You go back and Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has reached a decision for an extra round. Oh boy, and we are not done yet, ladies and gentlemen. Extra round coming up. Well, that's how they do it here. If it's close, they always want to have a clear and decisive winner. We have got three more minutes left to go. The fight queen, Esma Hassas, and a very gutsy Ruslana Vinyavska. One more round. Right back to action here, picking up right where we left off. You can feel the pace picking up here. These two getting right down the business. Trading low kicks. Oh, and punches upstairs. Hassas with a tricky little low kick there, scores, and popped her with a left hand. Vinyavska still pressing forward. Gets caught coming in. The quick combination. The right hand was right behind the left. And now over the top. Ooh, that time Hassas got caught coming in. And again. Back and forth, these two go. Simultaneous low kicks going in. This one is right down the middle. How much more even can you get? Oh, a knee goes in. Hoss Hoss over the top of the right hand. Cotter coming in with a straight left. Hard knees on the inside. This is just a razor thin matchup. Look at that again, simultaneously hitting each other. Asa still bobbing and weaving around in there. Coming up on a minute left in this extra round. Oh, wow, a clubbing right hand from way back. Big haymaker by the fight queen. Ooh, and a stiff left jab. Oh, you can feel the confidence of Haas Haas now. 
over the hand over the top with another right hand. She is really catching her with her guard down now. Hot sauce has come alive here in the last 20 seconds or so. Vinyaska refuses to take a step backwards. Hard body kicks going in now from the Ukrainian. Those have got to hurt. Well, the body kicks of the Ukrainian just crippling. Hassas, both of them hit each other with a jab. And that's it. What a fantastic extra round between these two. What an even matchup. I could, I could watch these two fight all night. I don't know if they would feel the same way about it. But that was one hell of an extra round. Let's go back and take another look there. Man, this was so razor thin. Every time someone would land a shot, someone would land it right back. They just gave it as good as they got it for four straight rounds. Three rounds was not enough. Will one extra round be enough? Mike Diamonds is climbing into the ring here, and we will make it official in just a moment. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the extra round goes to the blue corner. Hassas gets the victory here tonight by decision after an extra round. And you've got to believe that she has got to want this rematch with Nadezhda Kantir more than ever. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to give the microphone to Vladimir Mikurov. A couple of words. Добрый вечер, Кишинев. Добрый вечер, Молдова. Я хочу поблагодарить этих девушек за самый лучший бой вечера. И хочу поблагодарить всех присутствующих женщин и мужчин на парене. Целую низко голову, склоня. Я миллионы женских рук любимых. Их 10. Well, he's thanking both of the ladies for their...